All right, let's look at exercise A. The game of checkers was between John and me. Well, is this a direct object, indirect object, predicate nominative, or object of preposition? This. Well, let's look and see. The game is the subject of checkers is a prepositional phrase, but that's not what we're dealing with. Was is the verb between is the prepositional phrase. John is an object and this will be an object. So we need to, use, since it's an object of a preposition, we need to use an objective case pronoun. We're choosing between me or I. I is nominative case, objective case, me is objective case. So we cross out I and we use me. Incidentally, it's exactly that one right there. Okay. The librarian spoke to we or us students about researching the library. Well, in this case, the uh, pronoun is going to be the object of the preposition to we or to us. And then students is going to be the appositive, isn't it? Well, which one of those is objective case? Look at the list that you wrote down. Okay, yeah. We, you, they, right? So get rid of us. Everyone in the quilting class sewed a straight seam except Daphne and either I or me. All right, in this case, it's a, prep, it's a prepositional phrase, except Daphne and either I or me. Daphne is one of the objects of the preposition. I or me will be the other. If it's an object of a preposition, it has to be objective case pronoun. My objective case pronouns between I and me are not I, that's nominative, me is objective. Are you going with us or are you going with we? Well, with us or with we would be a prepositional phrase. In this case, we just sounds bad, doesn't it? With us, but we know that's correct because us is an objective case. No, we are going with either he, him, and she, her. Which one of them is it? Well, uh, with he or with him, with she or with her. Well, it sounds like it should be him or her, but let's check. Which one of these is objective case since we're trying to create or uh, indicate an object of preposition? Well, him or her. So let's get rid of he and she. No, we are going with him and her. Mrs. White tossed the ball to Nicole and either they or them. To Nicole is a prepositional phrase. And there's also, this is going to be, that's an object and this is going to be an object because this particular prepositional phrase has two objects of preposition. Which one of those is objective case? It's we, you, they, us, you, them. Well, them is objective case, so we get rid of they. The tour guides pointed out the fascinating animal life of James, Kurt, and either he or him. Huh. Incidentally, James is the first name of Captain Kirk of Star Trek, and you should know that. Okay, James T. Kirk. That's an aside. The tour guide pointed out the fascinating animal life to James. That's a prepositional phrase, but it's got three objects of preposition. James, Kirk, and whichever one this is. Which one of those two is objective case? That's right. He is in the nominative case. Remember, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they. Him is in the objective case. Me, you, him, her, it, us, you, them. So let's get it rid of he. The Bible was a gift from us or from we, members of the honor club. In this case, it's a prepositional phrase right there, from, one, from us or from we. And then members would be in a positive from us members because us is objective case me you him her it us you them him whoever all right now write original sentences illustrating the correct use of rules eight through ten well that was for rule eight nine and ten rule eight is it didn't show up did it on the copy that's six seven eight nine and ten Okay. Well, we're going to do rule eight. It says most problems occur when the object is compound. So they want us to write a sentence that has a compound object of preposition. 
which is pretty simple. Let's use the preposition um, um, around him or her. And will you, around is a prepositional phrase. Him and her are both objective case pronouns. So we can say around him or her. Let's say um, he doesn't um, play video games around him or her. I'm not sure why, but he does it. Okay, rule nine, sometimes the object is followed by an appositive. So we need a prepositional phrase that has a uh, pronoun for its object and then a, a positive after. So us students is, us is the object of preposition to us, students is the appositive. Um, let's just do us is really the only one that they ever use for this. Um, how about she enjoys talking to us fans. Maybe she is an actress or something. Okay, and then number 10, this one is going to be just the reverse. There's a prepositional phrase with an object that's not a pronoun, and then the pronoun is the appositive. So, for example, the beautiful rainbow was seen by two people, Marcus and me. So, let's do uh, the restaurant. Banned three students uh, let's do Thomas, Joey, and Coda. Isn't that a funny sentence? All right, so yeah, that's a T. The restaurant banned three students, comma, and then the appositive is Thomas, Joey, and Coda. Surely not. They banned all people right now, didn't they? Okay. There you go. That's, the, that's all of this assignment. Now the next page. Using possessive case pronouns. Now your possessive case pronoun, pronouns are my, mine, your, yours, his, her, her, its, our, ours, your, yours, their, theirs. The, these are in singular, these are plural. Plural meaning more than one, singular meaning only one. So, and possessive case means ownership. That means these things that we're discussing are owned by a, a, a noun, a person, or many people, it's plural, okay? The forms my, your, his, her, its, our, and their are used before nouns and function as adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, their are used before nouns and function as adjectives. These are sometimes known as possessive adjectives. Okay, so possessive adjectives is something we're gonna have to know. The next rule, the forms mine, yours, his, her, her, its, and theirs function as pronouns. That is, they uh, may be subjects, direct objects, predicate nominatives, etc. So, what really we're saying is these guys can be adjectives and these guys can be pronouns. The forms his and its may function as either adjectives or pronouns. Well, before we start this, why don't we um, make a list just so it's easier to see? So, if adjectives, Or pronouns 
According to this rule, the possessive adjectives are my, your, his, her, hers, its, oops, his, her, its, no, not hers, and then their. And then we've got the uh, pronouns are mine and yours and his, hers, its, ours, and theirs. That's not a good list. That's not an even list. All right. All right, I got a new piece of paper. We're going to make a list. So we have adjectives. This is possessive case. These are the possessive adjectives. Okay, it's, it, gave, it gave us a list. My, your, his, her, its, our and their. So these pronouns are possessive and are considered possessive adjectives. Now we're going to go down and look at the ones that are that function as pronouns. So okay. Mine, yours. See how these relate? My mine, your yours. And then you've got his, look, it's the same in both cases, hers, its. So her and hers is different. His is the same. Its is the same. And then we've got ours. They're different. And theirs. All right. So we'll use this list to keep them keep them clear. Adjectives versus pronouns. But then part C says that his and its may function as adjectives or pronouns. Well, we just established that, didn't we? There's his in both lists and its in both lists. Okay. Let's look at exercise A. It says circle the possessive pronouns that function as adjectives. Underline the possessive pronouns that function as pronouns. Your dinner is ready now, Milo. All right, so the pronoun is your. It says circle them if they're possessive pronouns. Underline them if they're possessive. I'm sorry, circle, if they're, circle the possessive pronouns that function as adjectives. So we'll put a circle if it's an adjective and put an underline if it's being used as a pronoun. Well, we can tell that it's describing whose dinner, right? So that's clearly an adjective. But if we look, we knew it was an adjective because it's in our list that way. Because yours is the pronoun. His was the best entry in the photography contest. Well, in this case, his is the subject, was is the verb, isn't it? So his is being used as a pronoun in this case because pronouns can be subjects. Now, his and his, it's in both. But we know it's a pronoun because an adjective can't be a subject, can it? but a pronoun can be a subject, and this is the subject of the sentence. His was best. That's a linking verb, incidentally, and um, entry is, so his was the best entry. Entry is the, uh, not direct object. What is that? Predicate nominative, that's right. Okay, now the next one. Her house is next to mine. House is the subject, Oop, but we shouldn't have underlined because we're using underlines to mean pronouns. House is the subject, is is the verb. Her is describing house, so it should be circled because it's an adjective. And also her is in the adjectives column of our list. Their little brother tried to find them after they hid throughout their house. OK, 
Okay. Their little brother tried their little brother. Whose brother? Their brother. Well, there is also in our list of adjective pronoun, uh, adjective, yeah, possessive pronouns. So, or possessive adjectives, as they say in right here. So, there is should be circled because there is functioning as an adjective. And then, if it's a pronoun, yeah. okay. God loves and cares for his children. Whose children? Well, children is the object of that preposition for children. His is describing it, so that's an adjective as well. His is the best research paper I have graded this year. His is. His is the verb, and it's a linking verb, right? So his must be the subject, and if it's the subject, it's a pronoun, and we have to underline it. Okay. He decided to share his lunch with his neighbor. Well, lunch is the noun. His is describing lunch, so that's an adjective. Whose lunch? His lunch. Is that package yours or theirs? Okay, this is the first use of yours and theirs. Well, let's look at, it's a question. And so in, the, in a lot of times questions, you have to flip the sentence around to make them work. Package is the subject. Is is the verb. It is a linking verb. And then yours or theirs is a pronoun in this case because it is the predicate nominative. And it's a compound predicate nominative. And I know it's not an adjective also because yours, yours and theirs is on our list of pronouns. Yours and theirs. See, if it were an adjective, it would be your and their. So yours and theirs. So that means we underline that one and underline that one. Are the apple trees yours or your neighbors? Well, now in this case, because it's a question, we have to flip it around a little bit. The apple trees, trees is the subject, are is the linking verb, and then yours and neighbors uh, are the two uh, pronouns. Now, he, this one's really interesting, isn't it? Because the, the trees are yours, neighbors. It's either yours or neighbors. Well, in, but we've got your in here again. In this case, yours is a pronoun because that's the first predicate nominative, but neighbors is the next predicate nominative. That's the noun. This is describing the noun, so this one's an adjective describing neighbors. That one's the toughest one in the group. So subject is trees, R is the verb, and it's linking, so the nouns that follow are predicate nominatives. The things that the trees are are yours and neighbors. This yours is a pronoun because it's a predicate nominative. This your, <laughs> this will make it clear. Yours is the pronoun, your is the adjective, see? The lion played with its cub. Now, its can be either or, so we gotta figure out which one it is. The lion played with, what, what noun did the lion play with? Well, the lion is the subject. This is an action verb, played, but then you've got with its cub. Well, with its cub is a, pre, is a prepositional phrase, isn't it? So that's the prepositional phrase, with is the preposition. Cub is the OP, the object of the preposition. Its is describing whose cub, so that means its is an adjective, circle the adjectives. Now, we have to write one sentence illustrating a possessive pronoun functioning as an adjective, and one sentence illustrating a possessive noun functioning as a pronoun. Well, let's look at this list and just pick the ones we want to use, because if we use ones that are always one or the other, then we'll never get our assignment wrong. Um, so one is an adjective and one is a pronoun. Well, it looks like if we use my and mine, we'll get it right, because those are different. Your and yours, we'll get it right. Her and hers, we'll get it right. Our and ours, their and theirs. So let's do the adjective first. Um, so we'll say, my dog has fleas. You probably never heard that. 
that little song. My dog has fleas. And then mine would be that dog is mine. So this one's the adjective and this one's the pronoun. Why? Well, because my is describing dog, isn't it? Which dog? My dog. But in this one, the dog is, predicate nominative is mine. And we know that's a pronoun because it's in the list of pronouns. All right, well, that was it. I hope that uh, you got all those answers corrected. Remember to upload them separately so that um, I can give you the grade for correcting them as well. All right, thanks. Have a great day.